Well, today we're looking at the new Weatherby uh, Mark V Backcountry Carbon 2. This is Weatherby's ultra lightweight um, stalking rifle, uh, which is, I've got to say, is very, very useful if you're getting on in age like myself and you appreciate a lighter rifle. Basically what Weatherby have done is they have taken their carbon fiber technology uh, in the barrel wrap system, coupled with their Mark V action, and you have a carbon fiber stock. The whole rifle only weighs 5.2 pounds in 6.5 Creedmoor, which we're testing today. And that's ultra light. Add to this an aluminium uh, GPO scope and tally aluminium mounts, and you, you can barely feel the rifle out of the field. It's, it's a very, very interesting and exciting rifle to have a look at today. Um, so let's go through a few of the components. First, let's look at the stock. Now the stock is very, very interesting. Uh, it's actually called a Peak 44 Black Tooth stock, which is a bit of a mouthful. But basically it's Peak 44, it's carbon fiber. It's incredibly light. Um, I think I measured it and it was, it was weighing in at, um, I'm trying to remember what it was now, uh, 0.620 kilograms, uh, which is incredibly light for a carbon fiber um, stock or any stock for that matter. Uh, but it feels very, very, very strong. It's very, very solid. Um, you have a very, very nice comb here. It's actually slightly rising. So when you're shooting with it, you'll see that in the field, not so much in the 6.5 cream wall, but you'll appreciate it on some of the, the heavier 300 weather beads, etc. Because the comb is slightly low and rising at the back, when you shoot on recoil, it drops. It doesn't bash you in the cheek piece, which is very, very nice. Also, you have what is called a 3D hex a recoil pad. I had to sort of figure, look this up on the website because 3D Hex, as the name suggests, it has a hexagonal ventilated sy system here to reduce recoil, but it's actually printed on a 3D printer. So inside it's actually a honeycomb and it really is very, very good at reducing recoil. You know, 6.5 pre-ball, not very much recoil, but on the bigger calibers, yeah, I can appreciate this. You have a very nice, slightly raked pistol grip area um, with it's slight palm swells, not real palm swells, but a nice, you know, quite nice. It's quite short length of pull. I find American rifles quite short. They're 13.5 inches. I've said before, I prefer 15 and a half inches, I've got to be honest with you, but I'm a lanky old donkey. <laughs> um, moving along, to reduce weight further on this, on this rifle, you have a really nice ventilated sort of tactical style bolt knob. And if, can you see here, very, 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 um, uh, it's not fluted, it's actually cut away and grooved and hollowed in the middle. So when you actually look at it, it's very, very light. You can also take it off and change it if you don't like it. I wouldn't, I'd leave exactly how it is. This is coupled to a very nice fluted or spiral fluted bolt system based on their six lug um, bolt uh, on their Mark V action. This gives you a four, uh, 55, sorry, 55 degree bolt opening angle is very very low and as you can see it easily misses the scope i really like that system it's very nice it's very secure uh, and you also have three gas ports along here just in case you get a punch of primer it releases the gases um, also whether it be on their mark 5 action you have the safety on the bolt shroud and that's just simply uh, forward is to fire and then rearward is on safe and it locks the bolt as well it's I prefer a lever on the side, but this is actually, yeah, it's quite easy to operate. It's a little bit stiff, but no, I mean, it's not, it's not bad out in the field. I've got to be honest with you. All the metal work um, is actually covered in uh, what they call Patriot Brown. I thought it's coyote, uh, coyote, coyote tan, but it's actually Patriot Brown color. I really like this because this is a nice, con it's, a, it's Cerakote, so it's incredibly um, weatherproof and durable. Uh, and it actually blends nicely into the carbon fiber wrapped barrel. Now the barrel is 22 inches on this model and you cut, you get a two inch uh, muzzle break at the end, uh, which, is quite, which is quite nice. It's threaded 5 8 um, UNEF, so finer pitch. So um, in, in England here where we shoot, we'll be fitting a sound moderator and we will be using a muzzle break to be honest with you. But it's on some of the bigger calibers, out in the States or you're shooting long play, you know, prairie game, etc. I can appreciate a muzzle brake will reduce recoil very well. Um, regardless, uh, it's threaded at the end and you have about 3.1 inches here of stainless steel. Uh, it's a match grade stainless steel barrel. 
and, and I think I believe it's to be a, a 416 stainless steel barrel. This one in eight twist here on a 6.5 Creedmoor. And what is interesting here, you have the carbon fiber wrap on it and you have a diameter at the muzzle of uh, 0.985 of an inch and that's the same here, it's a parallel, so there's no taper, it's parallel up to the point where it joins the, uh, the actual stainless steel barrel uh, coated in the Cerakote. And beneath is your uh, number one profiled MOD um, type barrel. And what is interesting on this Weatherby is the carbon fiber wrap doesn't actually touch, touch your barrel. So it's slightly under tension for both ends and it's it, you have a gap in between. Now this is quite useful because you've got two materials of differing heat dispersal, it will stop any warping, any change of point of impact. And I think that's a very good system, although we'll see how it shoots out in the field. This is designed primarily as a light hunting weapon, and we've got it today in 6.5 Creedmoor, which is the in round as we know. So I'm gonna go for a series of factory loads, see how they shoot over the chronograph, and then we'll check the targets out later. And then I'll go for a series of reloads as well. Uh, lead and non-lead uh, and see how they shoot. So stay with us and we'll crack on. Uh, first up, we're gonna try the Hornaday 129 grain SST two performance factory load and we'll see how they shoot on the chronograph and 100 yards, we'll do a three shot through. That's really impressive actually, that was three shots in less than an inch. Uh, next to the Winchester Deer Season XP bullet, they're a 125 grain uh, lead soft nose, let's see how they shoot. I've been using these uh, these Federal, and they use the 95 grain VMAX. They do really good velocity, and they're excellent for sort of dual purpose use. So foxes and small species deer. We've been shooting Chinese with these. They're very very good. Lovely, really nice. Now I'm going to try some reloads and I've got the new Peregrine 118 uh, lead free bullet uh, by, uh, well, Peregrine. <laughs> and uh, they're loaded with 42 grains of tack powder and we'll see how they shoot 100 yards. Yeah, about inch and inch and quarter is about what you expect of a pair of these, to be uh, Next reload, we're going to try the, well, one of my favourites, 120 grain uh, 6.5 nozzle ability tip. They always shoot very well. Uh, and this, we've got a sort of medium to maximum load of 45 grains of reload 17. So let's see how she shoots. Next up, same load as the um, uh, ballistic tips. We got uh, 45 grains to Rio 17, and this time a 120 grain Sierra Pro Hunter. Uh, next is the new Barnes uh, 127 LRX bullet, which, uh, 
uh, and we'll try those with 40 grains if we load the 15. Oh, they were all touching. That's amazing. Amazing. Yeah, that was a very good group. A very good group. Now we've got the um, rifle uh, disassembled. We can have a look at the component parts. Uh, first up is your typical five shot hinge floor plate. Uh, nicely uh, coated uh, again in the Patriot Brown colour. Uh, you know, very simple system and I actually quite like these I've got to be honest with you you know uh, the actual magazines are very useful but you know I have no problems with these simple reliable easy to use interestingly they use the old cheese head uh, screws for fixtures which is quite interesting rather than the allen key but there you go let's put that aside uh, now look at the action itself you say it's the mark 5 type action which I much prefer uh, to the ones used in the Vanguard which is obviously the Hauer you have a very, very strong integral recoil lug here, which uh, <coughs> abuts into the, um, the mortise in the stock we'll have a look at later. You have this fantastic trigger tech trigger. This is a field model, uh, and this is adjustable from 2.5 to five pounds in weight, uh, which is very, very useful on a hunter or stalking type rifle. As I said, this was set at, or we pulled it up for 3.4 pounds, which, for me, if you've got cold fingers or moving around in the field, it's a safe uh, weight to have, and I, I, you know, I just wouldn't change it. It is adjustable here, but I, you know, I wouldn't bother. Um, safety on the bolt shroud, as, as you can see. Again, you know, nice and easy to use. It's not overly quiet, but you know, it's not a bad system. Take the bolt out. You need to pull the trigger all the way back. That releases it. And there you have Weatherby's typical uh, Mark V action type bolt. Lovely spiral fluting here. Uh, three gas holes here in case you get a primer uh, puncture. Very nice sort of M16 type uh, extractor claw. Plunger uh, ejector system. Head is enclosed with the, uh, the shroud here of the actual bolt head itself and your six bolt lugs which engage very very nicely in the action and give you that 54 degree low bolt lift and also you can see hopefully here the ventilated uh, bolt knob or handle I really I actually really like that I'm not into tactical rifles but it's very nice it can be replaced if you want to again if you look here on the uh, action you have the Patriot Brown Cerakote finish I mean it's incredibly hard and it's just it's such a Good, good, good system to have on any hunting rifle. You know, let's be honest with you. Uh, you've got 3.1 inches here of the stainless steel barrel, as we said, uh, and then you have the carbon fiber wrap. Let's get a closer look at that if we can. Carbon, which mats very nicely here, but as we said, it's tensioned front to back. So the internal stainless steel, 416 stainless steel match barrel is floated. So as it heats up, under many round, rounds, you don't get any dispersal uh, dispersal of the shots, hence the groups enlarging, uh, which you would do uh, due to the different nature of the carbon fibre and the stainless steel. So, very, very nice system, a nice tally mounts here, um, which are lightweight aluminium, which go with the whole ethos of the backcountry being a lightweight stalking rifle. Moving on to the stock. Uh, as you said here, the, the stock, uh, I really like this because it's, it, again, it's all carbon fiber. It's incredibly light, uh, only 0 0.6 to uh, zero kilograms of a kilogram, which is, you know, incredibly light. Um, you have a simple bedding system inside. I'll move that closer so you can have a look. It is on aluminum pillars here, front and rear, so you don't get any squishing of the stock. I mean, that's minimal. Let's be honest with you, on a, uh, a synthetic stock anyway, but it's nice to have. 
it beds very neatly here it's actually very tight getting it out of the stock I try to get it out uh, that mortise there it's a bit crude on the uh, epoxy bedding I've got to be honest with you but when you see the the accuracy tests you know, you'll forgive whether you're doing that again excess uh, amounts in stock are uh, milled out to make this a very very lightweight and very usable you know hunting stock again lovely carbon fiber finish on this or carbon fiber uh, with the green and brown or tan sponge finish and that 3d hex recoil pad which was really really good actually i've got to be honest with you so again overall i mean a very very nice lightweight uh sporting stock and uh, you know credit to weatherby So that concludes the review. Uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, and just to a brief overlook on this, this is the, say, the Weatherby Backcountry Carbon 2. Uh, it's a very, very nice, lightweight stalking rifle. Uh, ideal for Britain for any species of deer, uh, especially in 6.5 Crewmore, which is in vogue these days. It shot factory, reloads very, very well. Hopefully um, you've enjoyed it.